हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू द सीए फाउंडेशन पेपर थ्री बिजनेस मैथमेटिक्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड द चैप्टर नंबर वन रेशियो एंड प्रपोर्शन एंड आल्सो लर्न द डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्रपोर्शन एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ प्रपोर्शन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्रपोर्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट देर आर एट प्रॉपर्टीज टूडे वी विल सी एट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ प्रपोर्शन फर्स्ट वन इज क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट प्रॉपर्टी सेकंड इज इनवर्टेंडो प्रॉपर्टी अल्टरनेंडो प्रॉपर्टी कंपेनेंडो डिविडेंडो कंपेनेंडो एंड डिविडेंडो सबक्रेंडो एंड एडेंडो नाउ यू कैन सी देयर आर एट प्रॉपर्टीज नाउ वी विल लर्न ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज इंडिविजुअली सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वन क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट रूल इफ ए इज टू बी इज इक्वल टू सी इज टू डी देन वी कैन राइट ए डी इज इक्वल टू बी सी सो इट्स एक्सप्लेनेशन इज here a is to b is equal to c is to d so we can write a over b is equal to c over d therefore now d will goes to the a and b will goes to with c so we will get ad is equal to bc second invertendo property if a is to b is equal to c is to d then b is to a is equal to d is to c in the invertendo property we have to take the inverse so here a over b is equals to c over d and instead of a is to b is equals to c is to d now now taking inverse so we get a over a upon b is equals to a over c upon d so we get b over a is equal to d over c therefore b is to a is equal to d is to c third alternando property if a is to b is equal to c is to d then a is to c is equal to b is to d Let's understand this. Here, a is to b is equal to c is to d. So we can write a over b is equal to c over d. And by the property number one, cross product rule, we can write a d is equal to b c. Now we will divide it by c d. So dividing both side by c d, so we get a d over c d is equal to b c over c d. So d will be cut, and uh, here c will be cut. so a over c is equal to b over d therefore we get a is to c is equal to b is to d next companando property if a is to b is equal to c is to d then a plus b is to b is equal to c plus d is to d in the companando property let's understand this property here a over b is equal to c over d instead of a is to b is equal to c is to d or also we can write a over b plus 1 is equals to c over d plus 1 here adding 1 both the sides so by taking lcm we get a plus b over b is equal to c plus d over d therefore a plus b is to b is equal to c plus d is to d fifth dividendo property if a is to b is equal to c is to d then a minus b is to b is equal to c minus d is to d here a by b is equals to a c by d or here we will add minus 1 both this side so a by b minus 1 is equal to c by d minus 1 so a minus b over b is equal to c minus d over d by taking lcm we get this therefore a minus b is to b is equal to c minus d is to d next six companando and dividendo If a is to b is equal to c is to d, then a plus b is to a minus b is equal to c plus d is to c minus d. As we seen before, the companando and the dividendo property individually. Here we will understand this property together. So first, this is the explanation of companando property, and the second, this is the explanation for the dividendo property. So here I have write the equation number one and equation number two. then i dividing 1 by 2 we get so we will divide the equation number 1 by 2 we get a plus b over a minus b and c plus d over c minus d so we will write into the proportion form so a plus b is to a minus b is equal to c plus d is to c minus d that is our companando and dividendo property it is very useful in most of the sums seven subtrendo property if a is to b is equal to c is to d then a minus c is to b minus d let's see this 
a over b is equal to c over d, we can write here we assume we, this equal to k. So by comparing a by b is equal to k and c by d is equal to k, we get a is equal to bk and c is equal to dk. Now we will subtract this two equations. So we get a minus c is equal to k will be common. So k in bracket b minus d. Therefore, a minus c over b minus d is equal to k. Therefore, a minus c is to b minus d. And here our 8. Add and the property. If a is to b is equal to c is to d, then a plus b is to c plus d. Here, a by b is equal to c by d is equal to k. Here we assume the constant k. Now by comparing a over b is equal to k and c over d is equal to k, we get a is equal to bk and c is equal to dk. Now we will add these two equations. So a plus c equal to k into b plus d. Therefore a plus c over b plus d is equal to k. Therefore a plus c is to b plus d. Thank you.